Fascinating Facts About Linda Carter's Wonder Woman Outfit What comes to mind when you think of Wonder Woman? Maybe you think of her classic red, white, and blue superhero outfit. People still wear this costume on Halloween. But it turns out that there are a lot of things we don't know about the particular outfit, as well as the actress who popularized her. Linda Carter is a very mysterious woman. They changed the costume after season one. After the first season of Wonder Woman, the producers changed her costume. The first comic book about Wonder Woman came out during the Second World War. The TV show was set in the 1970s. Diana Prince wore a pretty different costume as well. Hers had an eagle on it, which was a clear nod to the United States. But when the show was transferred to a different network, they changed her costume again. ABC decided not to spend more money on the Second World War sets for its first season. As a result, the network dropped it from the roster. Fortunately, the show was picked up by CBS. The new network changed some things about it. For instance, the costume got an update. It now has gold stripes and flatters the body more than before. Fascinating History of the Bracelet The bracelet has a long and interesting history. The so-called father of Wonder Woman, William Moulton Marston, was a psychologist who had some trouble with his wife and ex-student. As you can imagine, this was highly unusual back in the 20s. The third party, Olivia Byrne, liked to wear big bracelets. In the show, he paid tribute to his girlfriend by adding the same accessory to the superheroine outfit. His Interest in Tying People Up Wonder Woman and her sister Amazons have to wear heavy bracelets to remind them of what happens to a girl when she lets a man conquer her. If they don't wear the bracelets, they might go mad. The TV show changed the backstory and said that the bracelets were made of feminum. This is a metal mined in Paradise Island where the Amazons came from. It was hard to design swimwear for her. Donald Lee Feld is the man who designed the clothes for superheroes on TV. He won an Emmy for his work, but he couldn't make a bikini that would stay on Linda Carter. On the set of the TV show, they had a lot of wardrobe malfunctions with the bikini. This is not good for network television. Feld later made her underwear a tight blue wetsuit instead. On the bright side, this outfit is better suited for fighting crime compared to a two-piece. Her double had to wear it too. Linda Carter had a stunt woman called Jeannie Epper, who acted as her body double for the show. Jeannie did not have an easy time before the show started. Did you know that she lost her job in The Bionic Woman because she had the wrong breast size? When she tried out for the part in Wonder Woman, she needed to appear in swimwear. In 2015, she told NPR, I think why it worked so well is I could move exactly like Linda moved, and it was unlike how I moved. I moved more like Lindsay Wagner, more of the jock, athletic kind of running. And I just learned to become Linda. It's like an actor can adapt to character, she went on. You actually have to become an actress. And you have to be able to know how to not look at the camera and yet not look like you're not looking at it. She had to keep an eye on her weight. You might think that it's fun to play the superheroine, but Linda Carter had to follow a strict regimen. She needed to fit into the costume for taping, so she had an intense exercise program and diet. I had to stay in shape because when you're wearing a costume like that, you can't be eating donuts. But I was in my 20s and I had the body for it, which I totally took for granted. The actress shared with Daily Express. She also expressed her disapproval for the practice of making stars lose weight. I'm so sick of seeing these anorexic actresses, Carter shared an extra in 2007. These people are crazy. Any place else in the country besides New York and LA and they'd be in a hospital. These days, she promotes healthy eating and regular exercise. In 2018, she shared this with Energy Times. I eat whatever I want. I just cut on the portion size. It's all about portion control, portion control, portion control. I have a better relationship with food now, but I struggle with my weight. The Cowgirl Version of Her Costume Linda Carter says her favorite episode of the show is The Bushwhackers. In it, she worked with Roy Rogers. She said it was a thrill to work with him because she was such a fan. The episode showed a new, more modest outfit for the main character. Some people think the change was made because the regular costume wasn't suited for horseback riding. There's also a rumor that Roy Rogers wanted his co-star to be more covered up than usual. 
Her outfit is a hit among drag queens. In 2012, the actress was interviewed by Out Magazine. They asked her about the first time she saw a drag queen dressed as Wonder Woman. The actress responded by telling a story about when her son saw one. He was with her once when she was singing in San Francisco. A big drag queen came to the show dressed to the nines and her son loved it. The actress said that her son's reaction was funny and they loved it. She continued and said that some of the funniest reactions she's seen are from Wonder Woman drag queens with big pot bellies and lots of hair on their chests. She did her own stunts in the getup. Linda Carter, who played Wonder Woman, also did stunts. In one scene, she had to hang from a helicopter. The producers were angry when she did the stunt herself. Linda Carter was almost killed on the set of her show. In 1976, she told Johnny Carson that she had to jump over a car for a particular scene. They set her up on wires, but she misjudged the distance and ended up crashing straight into the vehicle itself. You gotta remember, this was an era when they were just barely allowing people to know there were doubles. Apper explained when she spoke to NPR in 2005. She added, For many, many years, all the actors and actresses said they did their own stunt work. This was partly true for Linda Carter.